And a warm welcome. Anticipation levels are high. We're here at the Coliseum, Alfonso Perez. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Getafe taking on Real Madrid. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the match is underway. Munir. And news coming through of a goal in the Mallorca game. Let's send it over, as always, to Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a goal for Bilbao. They've scored... Sorry, Alex, could be a goal here. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Played over. Not really the ideal clearance. Pavone. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Well, we did have to cut off Alex for understandable reasons in this case. Just to confirm, Athletic Bilbao did score in that game and they now hold a 1-0 lead. And running it back. And he did well to cut it out. And he has options available. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. And space to exploit, maybe. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance. But the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Right, time for us to send it over to Alex, because I believe there's been a goal in the Mallorca game. It's a goal for Mallorca. The score's level again now at 1-1, with 25 minutes on the clock. Alex, thank you very much. And he could be in proper trouble here. Oh, it's gone in! A derby goal, the first of the contest, electric. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper in his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. So the action continues. Rather be a quick response from Real. David. We're getting close to the half-time interval with Real Madrid behind. What have you made of it so far, Stuart? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Plenty of support here. Mayoral, determined defending. Well, they know they need to stop him. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it?
Marca en Madrid. Well, there it is, the half-time whistle, and that will do it for the first half here at the Coliseo Alfonso Perez. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I really liked his first-half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Now, well, something has changed in the Mallorca game. Alex, tell us exactly what. Yeah, it's another goal for Bilbao. They've pulled one back. With... And throwing himself up the ball. Over it comes. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Well, apologies to Alex for having to interrupt her. To clarify, Athletic Bilbao have scored in that match, and they're in front at the moment by two goals to one. Luis Milla. And he did what he had to do defensively. Now can they counter clinically? Oh, he looks threatening. They need to get bodies back. Will he find the net? Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Corner kick played in. Well, it still could be dangerous. Just couldn't get it through. Well, he knew what he was doing defensively with the concession of that throw-in. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Can he play it in? Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Vinicius Junior. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. An exciting La Liga match in prospect here on EA TV. It's Getafe, and they'll be facing Mallorca. Must take the lead here. Couldn't quite hang on. And a goal at the second time of asking. But the keeper has let his team down. Let's take another look at this, and from the attacking point of view, everything's right. The shot across the goalkeeper, players coming in for the rebound, and there's not much the goalkeeper could do about that. He made a good effort on the first one, couldn't react to the second. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Luis Milla. Now Borja Mayoral, committed challenge. And another treat from La Liga coming up for you live here on EA TV. It's Real Madrid and they'll be taking on Granada. Munir. And played in. Well, this late corner could represent the last chance to equalise. Substitution time it is here. And he's fired over the corner. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Difficult to stop him. Good-looking cross. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. 
Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, really calm, composed goalkeeping there. It certainly was on the second attempt, it was the first. And the referee says that will do it, it's the end of the game and it's a victory for Real Madrid. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.